2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A possible elimination game tonight. This series stands at 3-1. Welcome to the Western Conference Playoffs on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal the backcourt and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. And for the Timberwolves, McDaniels and Towns in at the forward slots. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the five down low. You look at Minnesota, a chance for them to close out the series here at home. Yeah, and they don't want to have to travel again in this series. This is exactly how they wanted the series to go. And it's the Suns to start out. Booker against Conley. Pass to Allen. Here's Nurkic. Oh, trying his luck from deep. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Now here's Edwards. Over Nurkic. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And, you know, we need to keep seeing this from there. It's encouraging to see him sink the mid-range J there. Allen with it. Over McDaniels. And Allen gets it to go on the assist from Durant. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. That one's good for two. Such a tough guard. I mean, Beal mixing it up inside, coming out on top in that battle. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. For three. Sinks the tray. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Now here's Booker. Again, the sun's good for two. A silky mid-range jumper by Booker, attacking without any hesitation. Beal against Edwards. Pass to Towns. Shot clock at six. Here's Conley. And Durant with the block. For all the scoring, KD's seven and a half foot reach can sometimes get overlooked. He said, let me remind you with that rejection. And so here's Phoenix. Pass to Booker. Back to Durant. It's blocked by Gobert. Love the way Gobert goes after shots. He blocks quite a few and alters many more. McDaniels passes to Edwards. From deep. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Durant. With the fadeaway, Nurkic's shot is good. Continuing to develop his jump shot. Nurkic draining his shot has helped his confidence moving forward. Here's Conley. Over Booker. Good from Mike Conley. A sweet move. Conley's got his second bucket on the night. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Booker, the pass to Allen. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Good from Allen. So both free throws. Good from Allen. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Edwards looking for an opening. McDaniels against Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the toughness McDaniels plays with is impressive. He doesn't back down from any defender inside. Two shots. First free throw is good. Guys like McDaniels, who can guard just about any position on the floor, extremely valuable these days. He's off on the second. The Suns trailing. Outside Durant. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. How do you defend him any better than this? I mean, Durant, just an incredible score. Conley up top. Booker defending. It's Edwards on the wing. Takes the three. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Edwards against Beal, and he drives in, and the shot's good. Beal's got his second basket on the night. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Here's Edwards. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Phoenix calls timeout. Here's Booker. Durant looking around. Pass to Allen. Three-pointer off the mark. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Edwards for three. Kept alive by Minnesota. Shots good by Towns. And you know, for all his perimeter skills, Towns also bringing that physicality inside. Beal with it. Now guarded by McDaniels. Count it. Beal's got six points. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. Booker against Conley. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Some changes for Minnesota. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert, and Anderson subbed in for McDaniels. Bowl. He's checked in for Phoenix. O'Neal comes in for Allen. Free throw drops for Conley. Yeah, one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Durant, the pass to O'Neal. Booker against Conley. Stolen by Reed. To the wing, right side. And here's Anderson. Towns outside. The three. And Durant with the block. Down low. That's good from Bowl. On the assist from Durant. I like seeing Bowl be aggressive inside and not allowing physical defense to bother his shot. Right side, Anderson. Pass to Reed. A strong finish! 
finish under heavy pressure from the D. And the Timberwolves lead by five. Here's Beal. Sinks another one. Time He's out, on a out. roll. Starting four for four. And just putting the moves to work right there. I mean, Beal manages to get his shot in spite of the contact. And the Timberwolves call time here. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Minnesota. Morris comes in for Anthony Edwards. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. Gordon against Conley. Pass to Reed. Conley looking for an opening. Just five on the clock. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Gordon finds Booker. O'Neal on the wing. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Now here's Morris. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Anderson for three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. Just five to shoot. Here's Alexander Walker. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Here's Durant, and that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep, and they have been thus far. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. He throws good from Durant. Talk about a modicum of consistency. Kevin Durant has played at an elite level since he's been in the league, and that's a lot of years, and continuing to do just that. Now here's Morris. No that's made great. baskets yet. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Suns. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. And from the field after that one, three for four now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Back to Alexander Walker. Morris on the wing. That one goes. Now he's one for two. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Hooker, pass to Durant. 
A minute 50 left in the first. Here's Gordon. Count the basket. Gordon's gotten his second bucket. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And Minnesota calls time here. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Edwards, he's checked in for Conley. And the Suns also making a change. Bowles checked in. Here's Edwards. Ten points for him. Anderson finds Morris. And here's Edwards. Here's Reed. And rejected. And they're on the break. And that one's good. Bowles. And the Suns lead by four. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Suns. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Out of bounds. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. Outside Edwards. Pass to Reed. Now Morris. Outside Edwards. Stolen by Booker. And now the Suns fast break. Here's O'Neal. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first. Three-pointer. The Suns clear it. O'Neal inside. Guarded by Edwards. And the shot goes in. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Free throw line jumper. And the shot goes. Edwards has got 12. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Suns ahead, up four. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal game five. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Minnesota with the ball. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Monte Morris. And it's McDaniels in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Morris. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. And Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Pass to Bowl. Over Towns. And that one's good. Bowl. Six points for him. Not just the threat inside. Bowl can stretch things out, too. Bowl against Towns. 
Morris with it. Clock at six. Into the lane. Counted. Morris has got six. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Beal surveying the D. Releases. And it's Phoenix with another. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. Pass to Gobert. Here's Alexander Walker. And here's Morris. Booker defending. Morris can't hit. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. And that one's good. Bowl. Trying to throw ball off his rhythm with a little bump. Not going to work. At least not that time. Here's Towns. Good on the bucket. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Booker over Morris. Oh, Booker in close. There's something that is great about Booker. He doesn't take all outside shots. I mean, Devin can score it inside, too. Pass to Gobert. Over Nurkic. Gobert, no good. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Nurkic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now an eight-point Suns lead. Tough to get up in Nurkic's face. At seven feet, he's a towering presence. Morris passes to Gobert. Rudy Gobert time finishes out, strong out. inside. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. Phoenix calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Durant, he's checked in for Booker. And Mike Conley picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. To the left side wing. Pass to Allen. Back to Beal. Shoots. And there's the call on Yusuf Nurkic. That's foul number two for him. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Conley up top. Hounded by Beal. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Yeah, there are nights where Conley has to do it himself. And that's the sign of a veteran point guard. Knowing when you have to take over. To the middle. Here's Allen. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists in the game. They've been the more poised team tonight. And the score reflects that. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots. Not wasting possessions. Pass to Towns. Oh, he drains the three. And Sounds he'll good. go to the line for one more. Sounds it good. goes on bowl, Hit. bowl. Shooting one. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Towns. 
And you can make a case and argue that Cat is perhaps one of the greatest, if not the greatest, shooting big man of all time. And he's still got a lot of runway in front of him for his career. And Allen gets it to go. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. O'Neal, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And so it's Allen who brings up the ball for Phoenix. It's a three-point game. Pass to Beal. Over Conley. And it's Gobert with a rebound. The Timberwolves have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Count it. Conley's got 14 points for the game. <laughs> the legs of Conley, they work just fine getting out there on that break. Now Durant. And a miss there on the triple. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. The Suns making a switch here. Eubanks is checked in. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The Suns have gone 8 of 11 in the second quarter. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. The Suns. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. O'Neal on the wing. Back to Beal. Up and over Conley. And the basket by Beal. Beal's got six in the quarter. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Conley against Beal. Left side, McDaniels. They grab their own miss. Rudy! Just bigger! Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. For three, Allen, and he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. <laughs> Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. McDaniels with it. He's against O'Neal. Pass to Beal. Oh, 
Eubanks with it. Five on the clock. Here's Allen. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. And Minnesota calls time here. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. And I think a new plan would be a good idea. At least make it hard on this guy. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Anthony Edwards in for Alexander Walker. And the Suns also making a change. Gordon's checked in. And it's in there. Conley's got 16 points now. Look at the toughness from Conley. He's seen a lot in this league and won't go down easy. Durant pass to O'Neal. chance at a four-point play. Jaden McDaniels picks one up. What's up? Minnesota's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Pass to Reed. There's the triple. The Suns clear it. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Durant, the pass to Beal. Here's O'Neal. Oh, and Reed with a block. Here's McDaniels. He's now one for two with that bucket. Basically just ignored that contact inside. Really tough finish by McDaniel. Pass to Beal. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Edwards. Misses, and you know he wants that one back. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. And he gets that one. And now it's an eight-point Suns lead. A high-powered offensive talent. It's like these contested shots simply don't bother Beal as much as other players. For three, Conley. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Durant's got four rebounds now. Beal against Anderson. Durant, the pass to Beal. McDaniels against Gordon. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Even when Gordon is under pressure, he finds a way to score the ball. That's what he is. He is a determined and capable scorer. Reed passes to McDaniels. Let's it fly. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Pure from three-point range. Beal's got 21 points in the game. Durant commands so much attention. Part of the reason why he had a wide open teammate there. Pass to Reed. Back to Conley. Over Beal. The shot by Conley. No good. Phoenix has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Yes, it's good. 
Gordon's got eight. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And that one's good from Conley. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Beal against Conley. Beal gets the bucket. 23 points in the game. Three level score. Beal can make every type of shot, and he's made a lot of them tonight. That one drops for him. What a burst out of that first step. Straight to the hole. Beal outside. Up and over Conley. Again, the Sun's good for two. And this is Beal's role. A top-tier scorer in today's game who looks to capitalize whenever he can. And so it's the Phoenix Suns going into the break up 12. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Frank Vogel and coach. The offense seemed to get on track in the second quarter. What changed for you? We just settled down offensively. You know, it seemed like we had some nerves early on in the game. We were attacking the paint, trying to play extra pass basketball, but we were a little hesitant. I thought we just settled down in this quarter. Hopefully more aggressive in the second half. Thanks. All right. Good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're it's, sitting there. There's only three of us. Went, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And guys, for the Suns, they had a lot of doubters out there thinking they were done in this series down 3-1. But they might want to retract those comments after that first half of basketball. This team has come out on a mission, and they're not going to go quietly. They want to force game six. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns' first half. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten. Providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taken a lot of pressure off their starters. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And Kenny, how about you? What would you see from the Timberwolves? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. And so in the game for the Suns. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. A KG score on the inside. Conley has the smarts, and he has the skill. Booker, good. When you can simply shoot over the defender, you've got it made. Pass to McDaniels. There's the drive, and the layup is good. McDaniels got his third bucket of the night. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Allen. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. No good on the free throw. Minnesota's gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. The defense tries to stop Conley with the foul, but he shows great poise and manages to get it off. Two 
Shooting two. Free throw drops for Conley. And Conley drops them both. Phoenix has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Nurkic. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Nurkic has got six. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. And he's going for the lob. Gobert no good. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. Pass to Edwards. Back to Gobert. Using the size. Go Bear. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Edwards against Beal. Good work there as it goes. Beal's got 27. Boy, that's five buckets in a row now. Watch out. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. McDaniels against Allen. McDaniels, that's good. Nine points in the game. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Booker, the pass to Beal. Edwards against Nurkic. Pass to Allen. It's Beal on the wing. Just four to shoot. Over Gobert. And Beal with the basket. On the assist by Allen. He has 29 now. And even timeout, when you timeout. stay connected to Beal, he finds a way to beat you. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Some changes for Minnesota. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Conley. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Right around three minutes into this second half. Morris against Booker. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris has got eight. Boy, making a slick move off the bounce that time to get the easy two. Beal with it. He has 29 now. Pass to Booker. Back to Allen. Six to shoot. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And it's the Suns with the ball. Now here's Beal. Over Towns. Big swat right there from Towns, making his presence felt on the defensive end. And Towns has got the ball here for Minnesota. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. And it's going to be a three-second call. And that's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. There's Booker on the attack. Back to Bull. Here's Allen, and Gobert with a block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. Five 
Hard to shoot. And the Suns miss again. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Pass to Allen. Gordon with it. And there's the three-second three. violation. The Timberwolves have gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. And here's Edwards outside. That one's good. Seven for ten now. You know, confidence feeds on itself. And the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick-and-roll sets. Almost converts despite the contact. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Phoenix. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. Both free throws good from Booker. Yeah, known as one of the game's most talented scorers, Booker is locked in on wanting to compete for championships. Pass to Morris. Who poked away. Out to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from 11. And again, it's Minnesota converting. The Suns leading. Phoenix calls timeout. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Here's Gordon. Give him eight points now. Here's Booker. What balance from Booker. We often talk about Gordon's scoring ability, but there, great feed to an open teammate. Towns outside. Pass to Morris. Pulls up, high post. And another basket for Minnesota. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Edwards against Gordon. Pass to Morris. Clock at six. It's hauled in by the Suns. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. He buries it from three. Quick release from Gordon. Like seeing him shoot it as soon as he gets it. Booker against Morris. Shoot two.
makes the first. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. O'Neal comes in for Allen. And so he's able to get one of two. Phoenix has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Booker, pass to O'Neal. Hole against Town. Back to O'Neal. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. O'Neal's got 13. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Outside, Anderson. Morris down low. Booker defending. Morris passes to Towns. Oh, it's blocked by Bull. You've got to be aware of Bobo. He's got a 7-8 wingspan. If you are anywhere near him, back up even more to make sure you can get that shot up. A oh, nice shot by Morris. <laughs> that was some by-the-book basketball. Blocks the shot, gets out in transition, and finishes strong. Here's Booker. Oh, Booker's shot goes despite the contact. That's a really tough shot for most. Not Devin Booker. He's just at another level. And he makes it. He's got seven. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Outside bowl. From deep. Booker can't get it to go. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, I, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustments successful so far. Now Morris. He's got 17. A slam dunk by Reed. Found sees an open player and rewards him with a nice pass. Morris against Booker. Here's O'Neal. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Some changes for Minnesota. McDaniels is checked in for Anderson. And Conley subbed in for Edwards. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for the Suns. Bradley Beal comes in for Gordon. Minnesota's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Reed. This one for three. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Morris has got his fourth assist in this one. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Eubanks, the pass to Beal. Shoots over Reed. Beal gets the bucket. Beal's got 31. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Yep, that one goes. They have not attempted as many threes here in the second half, which I'm scratching my head about. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Durant finds Booker. Over Conley, he hits the back iron and sinks it. Booker's got 16 points here in the second half. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Morris deciding where to go with it. Conley, he's open. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo, I love it. Beal outside. Offline with a three. 
And so it's the Phoenix Suns ending the quarter up 10. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Back after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. McDaniels out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Rudy Gobert. Then it's Monte Morris. And it's Conley in at the point. So that's the Timberwolves five. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Conley banked it in off the glass. Conley's got 27 points. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. It's Durant with a drive. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Edwards, he's checked in for Morris. throws good from Durant the Timberwolves shooting 70% from the field a performance that has been fun to watch Allen against Edwards inside Gobert and Gobert with the stuff stay clear of Gobert on the dunk now the force he goes to the rim with is mighty Beal that one's good Beal's got 33 points absolutely ruthless he's not about to start showing mercy now guys when you're this hot it's elementary let it fly keep staying at it. Reed for three and the Timberwolves hit again from deep he's starting to heat up from outside that's his second this half Beal the pass to Allen back to Beal to the inside that's good from Allen on the assist by Nurkic and the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Reed, good. He's starting to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Here's Beal. Another one falls for Phoenix. We know Beal can do this all night long. I mean, he's got an exceptional talent for finding points. Conley passes to Gobert. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Shoot two. And that one falls for Gobert. You know, he gets there so often, Gobert would like to make these at a higher clip. Bowl, he's checked in for O'Neal. And so Gobert nails both of them. The Suns have gotten off to a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in the fourth. Here's Durant. McDaniels with the rebound. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Outside Conley. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Pass to Durant. Hey, 
Tries a 10-footer. Got a piece of it. The Timberwolves have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. And that one's good from Conley. Nice read by Edwards there. Finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Nurkic passes to Durant. Oh, he drains the three, and That's he'll good. go to the line for one more. Jaden McDaniels shot. picks one up. throws good from Durant. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Deal against Conley. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Beal. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Conley's got six in the quarter. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through them until the defense makes them change plans. And that one's good. And the Suns lead by 11. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Here's Edwards. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. Boy, tonight just gives you a picture of the potential of Edwards. I mean, this guy is an electrifying scoring guard. Here's Bowl. Another three for Phoenix. Now, you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on deep. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Hey, like a lot of guys, Edwards rides momentum as a player. When his confidence is soaring, so is his activity level. And both free throws good for Edwards. Phoenix has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Allen, the pass to Beal. Back to Allen. Six to shoot. And they call an illegal screen That's here. Screen. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called. And now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. The Suns making a switch here. Booker's checked in. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Reed finds McDaniels. Back to Reed. Outside Conley. Back to Reed. Fires the three. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got four assists now tonight. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Heel against Edwards. Tries the nine-footer. And another basket for Phoenix. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Edwards against Beal. Keeps it alive. Bull grabs the board. And Phoenix shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Edwards got a tight handle now and enjoys breaking out these types of moves on. Pass to Durant. Katie jams it straight down. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. 
Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Deal against Edwards. Outside Durant. Oh, KD making the bigs feel his presence. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Conley against Booker. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Bull. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Durant. Durant has definitely been on one tonight. Knocking down shots for himself at a high rate. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Conley. Lays it up and banks it in. Conley's got 14 points now in the second half. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. One this half, two for the game. Stay active from beyond the arc. Shot is good by Edwards. And this is exactly what you want Edwards to do, using his athleticism to score on tough defense timeout, timeout. inside. Phoenix calls timeout. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Bradley Beal. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip, I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out hustle everybody during this game. <laughs> well, he relishes the chance to rub it in the face of the home crowd. The chance, the jeers, nothing phases him on the mission for victory. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He told his guys, let's not waste this advantage. Hold on to it. Stay aggressive. Let's not give up ground. Coach wants to see his team staying strong out there, guys. Thanks for that, Allie. Booker, the pass to Durant. Over Towns, and Durant gets it to go. Durant's got 26 points. I don't think KD's mid-range game gets enough recognition. I mean... If he has any kind of space, that mid-range shot is like a layup for him. Gobert finds Conley. Soft touch off the glass. Conley's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. Here's O'Neal, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Rudy Gobert picks one up. First one. He's perfect from the line this time. 156 left in the final quarter. Let's it go from 14. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Yeah, the defense will live with that shot. But give Gobert credit for extending his range. Pass to Durant. Allen on the 
on the wing. Let's go with a three. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. We've got 123 left in the fourth. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. One shot. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth quarter. Allen outside. Pass to O'Neal. Five on the clock. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. In this series setup, game fives are so important. A massive win for the Suns. And they were on fire tonight. Fantastic offensive performance, Grant. Yeah, B.A., they really shot the ball well. I mean, their coach has to be beyond thrilled with how well they play. And a gutsy showing that'll force a game six. They're not ready for their season to be over just yet. And it says a lot about the character of this team. With all the pressure in the world on them, they come out and perform. Still two more must-wins in front of them, but they'll go into Game 6 believing this series is theirs for the taking. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Bradley Beal. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. That one's off. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Morris comes in for Anthony Edwards. The Suns making a switch here. Good on the second one. Would have been nice to drain them all, but he did enough to put this one in the bag. Inside, Towns. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. Puts up a three. O'Neal pulls it in. Here's Booker. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. Many league observers were starting to count them out, but tonight's effort gives them a chance to turn the tide. It would be a major league comeback. Can they really take two more games in this series? I have my doubts, but we'll see. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kevin, that was a gritty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Oh. Uh, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd. It was, it was loud as soon as we stepped on the floor. So, you know, we just tried to uh, play our brand of basketball and just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.